Hi, new week, new vlog. Let's go exploring KL, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I haven't a clue where I'm going. Let's get lost together. No waiting for the go check. Ah, let's go. <sighs> well, I won't be making that mistake again. I've just literally had to walk like 10 minutes because the go bikes can't come in. So do not get a bike to the airport unless you're full of energy because now I'm all hot and sweaty. I'm rushing for time and I've got an extra bag because of all my laptop and everything so I'm probably going to be billed. Oh, this is a bit of a disaster but we move. Hopefully be nice and don't bill me. Let's see. Bye. And this is just a line to get to security for God's sake. Finally on board, windswept but we made it. And I have a window seat and the flight is quite empty for now. Everyone's boarding and I bought these because I'm starving. Catch you in Malaysia. Bye. Just got my phone SIM card so that I know where I'm going when I get out. It was 30 ringgit so I'll convert it when I get to the hotel how much it is. But it just makes life a little bit more easier so I don't get lost. It's really busy in here. Now I'm just trying to make a decision whether I get the train or a taxi. The both is equally as far, this airport is so big. So I can't make my mind up. I need to get to level two, she said. I'm gonna go to the train bit here because it's closer and ask how many trains I would have to get and then make a decision. So to get the train, I've got to go to Central however many minutes that is and then I've got to change the and get on another train to where I'm going and it's the same price as a taxi so I'm going to get in a taxi because it's 10 to 6 I'm really hungry and I don't fancy getting lost and it's the same price so it was 55 ringgit probably won't get stuck in traffic though and the go check is 75 because you've got to pay for the toll so let's go and find the go, go check stand actually it's grab Say I'm doing it wrong. Let's see where we get in a minute. Just arriving by the city. It's still nice and light. See some nice tall buildings. So this is like um, Times Square. You're right. So nice. Well, thank you. You're <laughs> Just wow, right so I'm saying right by this, yep, yep, which yep. is a great location. What do they call it? The Gold Triangle. Golden Triangle. Golden yeah. Triangle. Amazing. Okay. You get good food around here. You won't never get hungry. You won't stuff. So nice. Wow. Just arrived at my hotel. Let's go and check in. Room. Wow, this is so nice. All this space just for me. Hi! It's a nice shower. Have a nice toilet. Nice hair dryer. Hey. So nice. Wow. Lovely. Nice 
nice circle. Window. Views of the city. So nice. There's like a thousand food choices out there, but I'm being a typical Brit and I have to have an Andos. I'm so hungry and that's what I'm having because I can't get this in Bali. So let's go to Nando's. actually I feel quite safe um, and it is a bit like Times Square super busy and you've got to wait till the little number counts down to cross but yeah I'm exploring by myself it's cool man I still can't find Nando so much just coughed in my head but appreciate that love so this is where all the luxury shopping is and where my Nando's is so let's go Save you some time, it's on level one. So I'm saying, that's in time. I'm gonna have to get one of them. Oh, this place could make you fat. Than they already am. <laughs> it's full of cakes and sweets and bread and everything. Oh, there's this Nando's there. Look at all these. Oh God. <laughs> so, how is this? Seven English pounds and it's like 20 pounds back at all. So I'm just getting the vanilla for puff. Ten ringgit. Yep. I'm gonna go on and have this and do some editing with a cup of tea. Let's find the way home. This area here by the hotel just reminds me of Cheetah Mill, to be honest. Um, apparently this is where like all the workers live, because it's cheap from different areas. If you look over there, looks like the ghetto bro. <laughs> but it's cool though. It's safe, but I'm used to walking around Manchester, so yeah. It's absolutely fun. So I'll see you in a minute. I'll have my melted cake. Showered in my dressing gown, ready to eat my cake. I have a little drink of Sprite. But the best thing about this hotel room is this. Look at my views. So I can now have a really good people watch can't really see but down here you can't hear it by the way like it's, I can't hear anything at all but right down this row here is some bars and there's loads of people so I am having a good old people watch why I stuff my face watch some telly and have my sprite and there's like so many big buildings around and I'm just the nosiest person in the world so this for me it's so good just being relaxed in my hotel room, having a good people watch. So I will catch you in the morning, actually. Let me just taste my cake and tell you what it's like. She filled this with fresh cream. Pastry's a bit stale. Smells amazing. It 
it's a bit stale. Very stale. Oh, no wonder she was doing a promo. Oh, for God's sake. Not good. I expected it to be soft. Mmm. The cream's nice though. The pastry's too stale. <laughs> On that note, I'm going to bed. Good night. I've just changed rooms and what would I find? Sewing kit, we have sewing kits that can fix minor damages on your clothes instantly. Please dial zero for a request. I mean, some things are just meant to be. Fancy having sewing kits to hand when I'm here. Yes, so I've moved rooms because the bed sheet was a little bit dirty and they didn't have a new one because the cleaner weren't here. So they moved me next door. So now I'm just going to faff and hang my clothes up. And then go to bed. Finally had a nice shower and now into bed. This bed is really comfy as well. Have a good night's sleep, ready for tomorrow's adventure. Catch you in the morning. Bye. Good morning. Oh, did not have a good night's sleep. I didn't go to sleep till like three, so I'm really tired. I'm hoping I can get a decent coffee now. Oh super tired let's go and see it's 9 30 hopefully there's still coffee on let's go so this is the tea and coffee that's available but there's no croissant and so i'll just go to starbucks so this was supposed to be full board but they didn't tell me that there wouldn't be much choice for breakfast or any like lattes or anything so it's basically just bed and breakfast so yeah <laughs> board like me like you're close to be ironed call reception but look at this the plugs are the same as England so good so if you're coming from the UK you don't have to change your plugs or need an adapter if you're coming to Malaysia I am ready outfit of the day check fully made by me and this can be made in any colour this is actually the caftan dress I've just pulled it up a bit so it's got the sleeves covered because the caftan is open at the side and yeah this can be made in any colour and any size online at missmills.co.uk let's go to Batu Caves Woo! on my way to Batu Caves and this is £3 it was £17 ringgit which in my currency is £3 so yes cheap and I'll let you know when I get the tried flying my drone and the gimbal isn't moving but apparently the video says just move it so hopefully if there's not too many monkeys we'll be able to put the drone up but we know what monkeys are like so this is scary on your own Wow, the traffic was so busy then coming in. I just said I'll walk. I can't be bothered sitting in all that. So yes, I'm so scared of these monkeys. Might put my drone up here and fly it towards and then come back. Let's have a see. So I just got in trouble for flying my drone. It doesn't say you can't fly your drone, it just says you're entering no smoking area, so not quite sure what that were all about. But anyway, I took it down. 
let's go and have an adventure. to the top. I'm dead. And there's more up this way with a nice natural light coming through but I'm not going to go up there because my pants are soaking wet. Oh, that was scary coming down then because it's the stairs are really steep I'm so sweaty the stairs are dead steep and then obviously you've got monkeys jumping so if you slip game over and then there's idiots taking like drinks in a bag and like the jumping so it makes you jump oh, I need a drink food was really nice you can pay by card in there but then I needed the toilet because I want to go to Patara Mosque the pink mosque and you had to pay cash and you weren't going to let me in but luckily some really nice lady paid for me so maybe it's a good idea just to have a bit of cash but I bought a spur drink on my card and yeah I wouldn't have gone the bloody toilet if that lovely lady hadn't paid for me now I'm just waiting for my grab this is 52 ringgit it's like eight pound to go to the mosque um, so yeah that'll be two adventures we've done in one day let's go on my way to Patara mosque and the weather's still nice and clear so fingers crossed we get no rain we could get some really nice pictures it's around 50 minutes from where I was but I was really interested to go so why we're on an adventure, why not? See all the tourist attractions. It's got some nice history about it as well. So I'll fill you in later. Wow, look at that. So pretty. I've arrived at the mosque. 
Let's go and take um, a little tour. What a beautiful bright pink place, I've just took my glasses off because we're going inside now. Sun shining so bright. very busy as well so now we have to take our shoes off ready to go inside let's have a look see everybody's shoes Is only upstairs um, and I've just asked because I didn't see anyone else doing it if I was allowed to fly a drone I wanted to get the front of the building because it's so pretty but he said no do not take your drone now so oh I'm out of breath oh it's closed I don't know what he meant So that was a nice little tour of the mosque, but upstairs is shut for some reason, so time to go. There's a nice, I don't know what this building is next to it, looks like a government building, I lost my shoes. So we'll go and have an explore over there, but I can't fly my drone, maybe that's a good thing because I'm not very good with it. Let's get my shoes on and let's have a look outside. Must be like a government building, there's all like different flags. Let's go and find out, I'll ask. See, I am very intelligent, really. Um, that big building is the president's office, the guys just said. So, a government building, what I said with all the different flags. He said, most definitely do not fly your drone out here. So, the drone is staying in the bag. Oh, just nearly fell down a grid. So that was a really nice experience, I definitely recommend it. And it's free entry. You've just got to wear the right clothing and then put your little cape on. So yeah, let's go and see if we can have some pictures at the President's office. A bit safer actually for me to do pictures rather than um, drone footage. Hello, excuse me, come across. Look at this nice garden. Lovely! Mind you set. I actually just tripped in there and Drop down, so nice. You can tell it's like an important building, can't you actually? So lovely guys, so lovely. I think it's personally worth the drive. A lot of the taxi drivers was telling me not to go because of the drive and that there was other mosques, other mosques I could have gone to. But personally, I really wanted to see this one and I, I think you should, didn't want to regret it. So yeah, time to call a driver. Now I'm 
on my way to the Petronas Twin Towers because I've read that it gets really busy and it might be sold out for today so I'll buy my ticket for tomorrow then I'll go home freshen up and we'll watch the fountain show tonight I think we're about 50 minutes away again this trip said it was going to be about £5 probably be more with the tunnel but I'll let you know at the end Let's go and see if we need to book a ticket for tomorrow So the tickets for today have already sold out, the security man should have told me I said I want to buy for tomorrow, so fingers crossed we can still get a ticket. I'm having a terrible early day now, it's like a freeze bomb. I've got my coffee, so they did have a cancellation ticket, a child's ticket, but they needed to refund the person. So maybe it is a good idea, even though everywhere takes card, if you have a bit of cash, because if I had the cash, I could have done the towers today, but instead I just paid 98 ringgit, which was £16.50 to go tomorrow at quarter past 12. So it's okay, like I can go tomorrow anyway. So I'm going to have my coffee and just chill for half an hour because I feel like I've not stopped this morning and I'm charging my phone. So yeah. Oh, and then I'll go and fix me a and get ready for the fountain tonight at 8 o'clock and decide what we'll put the tea. Maybe we'll go to that like walking street where it's got all the food. Seeing as I'm exploring Malaysia, you know, trying a bit more than chips and English food. <laughs> Catch you in a bit. Hey, look what I found, a drone shop, so he's helping me because I'm not, I think I've knocked a setting. Helpful! <laughs> oh, I've just been outside and it's completely thundering lightning, so time to have some food. Hopefully it goes off. I wanted to walk back so I could see some other things. I will just have to call the taxi. I'm in this food court and I don't really fancy anything. <clears throat> just ordered a grab because it's raining and I hate walking in front of lightning. It's like chaos outside here because everyone's ordering taxis. Let's go and check out a rooftop bar in the hotel, rooftop terrace. decided it's still raining but I really want to see the fountains I can't leave KL and not see them so I'm gonna have to get wet let's go ignore this I've tried to make me look a little bit decent because at the moment it's like a frizz bomb but yeah let's go and see the fountains Do -do -do -do. on my way now in my grab and hopefully we'll catch the 8:30 one. It's actually stopped raining, but I didn't fancy doing any more walking after all them steps. I'm tired. Just arrived. I think I'm halfway through this one, but never mind. Let's walk round. It's lovely. I'm just walking to the pavilion because I really fancy Five Guys. We and it's so good because everywhere is walkable, or you can use Grab like I have done loads of times. That's easy, but it's actually really safe. 
um, like feel really safe here no one bothers you and then if you want to grab like they're good for giving you information so yes I'm just taking a walk I'm going left three minutes following my Google Maps like a real tourist you know it's saying I'm going left I was actually looking up to see if I could find the pavilion but I can't see it oh five guys let's go oh we're having a real bad uh, day here but let's pretend we're not so I was going to have tapping yaki then but they're closing on like the hot plates and I don't fancy just sitting there I like where they cook it in front of you and ch -ch 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 -ch. So five guys it was. I am trying, I've had Indian food and that would have been Japanese food so I'd love to try it. We'll be back tomorrow. Walking round in circles thinking how we were here yesterday. It's on level three and I'm on whatever this is, lower ground. I think everyone likes a bit five guys, she's the place man. Is there any need for all them chips? I get the lettuce wrap as well. <sighs> so I was walking back after me saying it was safe at uh, I think it was like quarter past ten so it's still like loads of people around like loads when I say it's like New York I mean like it can be like midnight in New York there's still like loads of people this like weird guy was staring at me at the crossing like acting busy on his phone and like just kept like stirring and then as we were walking like across the crossway this way I turned this way super quick and he started like following me so I turned around and asked him what, what was he following me for and then he like was just acting busy like looking up and down and then like walked straight down the road by my hotel and was like just acting busy like stirring so the security like had already come out and I'd stopped and was looking up the street and then like he turned left so yeah you always get one weirdo everywhere you go so just be careful but if you are traveling like alone before i went up on the rooftop bar and there was like people sat it's not like a bar it's you know that library bit people were just sat like eating crisp and chocolate and having a drink and was just like watching the rain and like everyone was talking to everyone and was like oh if you want to go for a drink later people about three people from this hotel was all going for a drink so like if you wanted to drink and party you could still go with people from your hotel if you go up to that library bit and meet people so you can always meet like friends and stick together and go for like food and stuff so it's safe but it's just i'm a bore when i'm not with gary i don't drink so yeah there you go so yeah it is safe and like i say if you're coming on your own just go like into the lobby and you'll meet other people who were traveling on their own who'll all like meet and go for drink and food together so you've got friends basically so yeah there you go i'm gonna have a shower and then go to bed because i'm up early for the towers tomorrow and let's see where tomorrow brings bye <laughs> Good morning, today is my last day. I'm just gonna have a nice coffee. And then, I'm gonna go for a swim in a minute. Let's go. Got these from downstairs today. Chocolate brownie. And she's cooking me a fresh croissant because there's only one left. I think someone had picked it up and put it back. Ready to go to the rooftop pool, let's go. Just on the rooftop by the pool. So sunny today, really nice views. got a 
Sorry, I almost lost some from my breakfast. Somebody took a bite. This is my outfit for day three. Nice little top, headband, matching flares. I made this in about three hours in a rush, but it's so comfortable for going exploring. So if you'd like this made, you can buy it in Bali from the 1st of June in Prairie now or online at missmills.co.uk. Super comfy. Woo! Let's go to Petrona Towers. Time to check out. Goodbye, Ray. Woo! I'm gonna leave this at reception. Let's go. On my way to the Petrona Towers now, and I've got to be there 15 minutes early to be in the line, and then yeah, we'll see what all the fuss is about. Let's go. So you come through a little security check. Have your picture taken and then you go up. I wouldn't book your tickets online because two people have just been stopped because they can't scan the QR code and the woman's really angry because she's paid but the tower people were like, well it's not for us so I would actually just take some time out, book the day before and come and pay in here so you get in because she's just been stopped. She said that they only let so many people in on their tickets. So that's just a little tip, top tip for Thursday. And she's just said, depending on the wind, this bridge can move. Oh, don't know how I feel about that a lot. and you feel your ears like crackle when you walk up let's have a little tour around So the ladies just said then they get 1,400 visitors a day and it's like 120 people per hour, that's why you've got to book in advance. And I've just asked where the glass floor is in it, that's in the KL tower. So if you want the pictures on the glass floor, you've got to go to that tower. I thought it was this one so it is a little bit confusing, not sure how much that one is. Um, I'll see if I can find out after this. But yeah, I'm interested in 100 and, no, 1,200, 1,400 people a day. Wow, that's a lot. Paying £16.50 each the maths. Now time for a coffee, proper latte on the 83 floor. I'll have a coffee with a view, thank you. I don't look at the table. <laughs>
and then head to the airport and just start editing my videos and hanging around because it's too hot and my flight's not till 11 but yeah let's see the health we get out of here I'm round in circles yeah let's go and get some dinner I think Go through and then set up my laptop and do some editing. Yeah, so good, man. 